Hey there, it's CJ Willie and I'm cracking a pack today. I'm back with pack number 24 in my 1987 Sportflix baseball box. Since each pack only has three cards in it, I'll talk about my memory of the players from the 1980s and maybe something specific about the players from the 1986 season. I'll also go over the fun facts on the two team logo trivia cards. So let's get to cracking this pack. First up, we have the Milwaukee Brewers Team Logo Trivia Card. And on the back, it has their team single season records. 1980 Cecil Cooper set the team record with a 352 batting average. Gorman Thomas in 1979 had 45 home runs. And Cecil Cooper in 1983 had 125 RBI. On the pitching side, Mike Caldwell set the team record for both wins and ERA in 1978 with 22 wins and a 2.37 ERA. And in 1986, Teddy Higuera set the team record with 207 strikeouts. Ken Sanders holds the team record for 31 saves in 1971. Next up, we have the New York Yankees team logo trivia card. And it has their pitching leaders starting in 1986 and going back to 1977. In 1986, Dennis Rasmussen led the team with 18 wins and a 3.88 ERA. Ron Guidry was the team leader in strikeouts with 140. In 1977, when the Yankees were the World Series champion, Ron Guidry took the pitching triple crown with 16 wins, 2.82 ERA, and 176 strikeouts. The first card in our pack is Lloyd Mosby, outfielder with the Toronto Blue Jays. Majority of his career with the Blue Jays. His last couple of years were spent with the Detroit Tigers. Mosby was known as a pretty good defensive center fielder and had a little bit of pop in his bat, anywhere between 15 to 25 home runs each year, around 80 to 90 RBI. He was a member of a pretty good outfield crew with George Bell in left field, Mosby himself in center, and Jesse Barfield in right field. Next up, we have Tim Wallach, third baseman with the Montreal Expos. Get rid of our ad card. Wallach came up with the Expos in the early 80s, spent almost his entire career with the Expos. At the very end, he spent some time with the Dodgers and Angels. Perennial all-star third baseman, Wallach was also a great defender. Won a couple of gold gloves, had some pop in his bat, 20 to 30 home runs per year, and around 80 to 90 RBIs. He did have a lower batting average, typically in the 260 to 270 range. Our final card is going to be Pete O'Brien, lefty first baseman with the Texas Rangers. O'Brien spent the first part of his career at the Rangers. He moved on to the White Sox and Indians. In our theme of having a little bit of pop, O'Brien was good for about 20 to 30 home runs per year and 80 to 90 RBI. His batting average was similar to Wallach and Mosby in the 270 to 290 range. In 1985, he had one of his best years as he led the Rangers in home runs, doubles, extra bases, and game-winning RBI. My favorite card or best card out of the pack is going to be Lloyd Mosby. I enjoyed watching the Blue Jays in the mid-80s. After years of futility, the Blue Jays were the first expansion team from the 1977 season to taste the postseason. They clinched the American League East in 1985 and were up three games to one to the Kansas City Royals in the championship series. Ultimately, the Royals came back to beat the Blue Jays. Mosby had a number of run-ins with the Blue Jays front office toward the later part of his tenure with the team. He was not re-signed as a free agent and moved over to the Detroit Tigers for a couple of years and retired relatively early at the age of 31. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Also share with me in the comments what your favorite card and what you thought was the best card in the pack. Until next time when I'm back to crack pack number 25 in my 1987 Sportflix baseball box.